Rolla. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's stop dilly-dallying any longer. We have to do this. And time for me to look silly. Waving the gyroscope around. Okay. Um, what do we do? We talk to you? We all share our Pokemon? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get your Lunala. Lunala, help us out! I like it, they're just like, they just acknowledge, yeah, there's multiple, there's Sogaleo and Lunala, even though they come from the same Pokemon and they're legendary, it's like, well, I guess because they're from different dimensions. Still, it's like, oh, there's multiple of these Pokemon. No big deal. Oh, look at me. Ultra Banana Squad! Out. Alright, let's play this game. <clears throat> I haven't played this in a long time. You know, I meant to do a uh, sweet speculate, not sweet speculation, um, a how-to competitive on the Ultra Wormhole Shiny Hunting. I just never had the time for it. It kind of stinks. It's too late to do it now. But I did have fun playing this little game. Unfortunately, I never had fun doing it with the gyroscope. But the good news is, I'm pretty sure to get to, all we have to do is get to one of the white wormholes, which is pretty easy. So I'm just going to try to go directly to one of those. Alright. I am glad they offered that alternate control scheme, because otherwise, like, for the story it's fine, but for the actual, like, shiny hunting aspect, and just wormhole hunting in general, it would have been miserable. All right, we gotta try to avoid this one. Avoid, avoid, avoid. That's a close one. That's a green one. And of course there's like no white ones. Oh, there's, that, that was a white one, right? The sound tells me that probably yes. Ultra Megalopolis. So is this all artificial light? I guess it is. They have all these prisms to reflect it. Oh, it's the other two. Welcome, resident of Alola. I am Soliera. I am a member of the Ultra Recon Squad. Necrozma returned from Alola. You will find it up ahead. It seems to be resting atop the tower. How do you know I was looking for Necrozma? Just saying. So this is what the humans of Alola look like. I would quite like to investigate you further. Well, excuse me. Hmm, yes, I am Fico. I am the captain of the Ultra Recon Squad. Now that it has found a source of light, Necrozma will regain its true power. But it cannot control its own light in the broken form that it was left in after it lost a part of itself. This power will only bring Necrozma more pain. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Necrozma. Just as we used our technology to try to provide this dark world of ours with some light. Necrozma, and us ourselves, we have both suffered so many long years in darkness, living a life we did not wish for. Please, help us to stop Necrozma. Oh, please, help us to stop Necrozma. You will find it ahead of this place, up top the Megalo Tower. All right. Well, and Rotom's effect wore off. Thank you, Rotom. Um, yeah, what do, what do I need to do? I just need to go up the tower, I guess. Mmm, I'm so nervous. This could go terribly. So, you will truly go? Our Ultra Megalop- Meh meh meh. Our Ultra Megalopolis was once a world filled with light. Necrozma was called the Blinding One, and it gave us all the energy we needed. And in fact, we were not the only ones who basked in its light. It traveled even to the distant world of Alola by passing through the Ultra Wormholes. But our, but our ancestors grew too greedy, and they caused Necrozma to lose a part of its body. Ew. <laughs> Help it if you can, we beg you. I really think just like, it's parts of its body falling out. Okay, so I'm thinking I might use like the Rotom 
uh, the Roto Boost at the beginning. I think that would not be too bad because I'm pretty sure Ultra Necrozma gets a plus two to everything. So it couldn't hurt to, to do that before I start swords dancing up. Okay, here we go. Rotom, you got any final, final uh, treats for us here? I don't think this one's gonna help us. Roto EXP. Yeah, we're already fine. Okay. Okay. Ah, here we go! Ah, oh, my heart. I, I believe... I believe in my Dublade, though. I believe in you, Dublade. Just... Let me see you one more time. All right, Dublade, I'm gonna need you to fight bravely. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. <sighs> they didn't hide any stickers. Yeah, okay. That's, wh that's what I thought. All right, now I must say, this is an awesome cutscene. And Dragon Necrozma is pretty nuts. And its theme is great as well. Necrozma is setting you. It seems eager to do battle. All right. Here we go. It's really, really stream because I got home early and I figured that would give me time to do a longer stream. That's what's up, AJ. Normally I don't get home until like seven or eight. All right, double aid, we have our strategy. We're gonna go double aid and just instantly roto boost. Lie, lie, light. What's with these Pokemon saying English words, by the way? Is that canon? All right, let's let's get this. I'm gonna bring this speaker a little bit closer because this is a great theme. Okay, its stats rose by one. I thought it was plus two for some reason, which would just make it even more broken. All right, so you're gonna be plus one in everything. I'm gonna get plus one in everything. Let's roto boost. All right, Photon Geyser, let's see how we take it. Ah! Why'd that still do more, more than half? That still did more than half. That still did more than half, what the heck? Actually, I shouldn't be surprised, because you know what? It does, um, because it one shot all of my, all of my other Pokemon in my last playthrough. So the pass, the, pa the fact that it's just barely a two shot is actually um, pretty good. Okay, so I think I have to wait out his photon geysers. I do think, okay, that was a low roll that time, but I can't trust it. I can't trust it. I feel like I have to get rid of its photon, its photon guys doing so much, not very effective. Wait, how much PP? I just want to check how much PP does have. It only has five. Okay, I can stall for five turns. That's fair. I think. I just have to hope for no you-know-what. Alright, it's continuing to do low rolls. But I just need to get through the five PP of this. Unless, watch, watch Ultra Necrozma have, like, PP max of everything. Alright, I think I have to get through one more. Okay, this should be the last one.
All right, let's heal one more time. Okay, what do we got? Power gem, all right. That should be just fine. I'm surprised you wouldn't go for Dragon Pulse though because Dragon Pulse should do even more, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Alexis' internet crashed. That's all right. It's all good. We're just here, you know, fighting the most broken Pokemon in the game. Like, I don't know if it's more broken than Mega Rayquaza. I think in, in like this, in this instance where you fight him with like a totem aura, it definitely is, because he has plus one to everything. I mean, its ability is pretty broken. Photon Geyser is pretty broken. All right, we're at plus three. Or plus three attacks. So let's see how much a Shadow Sneak does now. It's probably not going to be a heck of a lot. All right, that was decent, but I want to get another Swords Dance up. All right, smart, smart Strike, that should do... That's a little bit weaker than Power Gem, actually. I'm surprised he changed it, actually. I don't know. There is a Dragon Pulse. Okay, I have to be careful here. This is a little bit stronger in Stab. Ah -ha. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal. All right, Hyper Potion. Maid Gohan, hello, welcome to the stream. We're just here trying to beat Ultra Necrozma without any deaths. See how that goes. Uh-huh, I don't like how that's in crit range, but I am plus five attack now. All right, we're gonna go for it, Dublade. If you could get a crit, that would be great. And Maid Gohan, thank you for the host. Okay, this is, it. oh, he's gonna go for Smart Strike. That's fantastic. Thank you for not going. Thank you so much for not going for Dragon Pulse. And thank you for the follow. Maid Gohan. All right, we're gonna finish it off. Guys, we did it. We didn't even, I mean, we did, we did stall out Photon Geyser, I will admit. But, but we did it without having to resort to our rock and roll strategy. So I think that was a pretty good victory. And it dies. Actually, it looks pretty cool, like with the Necrozma armor being black too. All right, we did it once again. Dublade is the best thing we've ever had. Oh look, Sogaleo's back. Aw, oh, that's cute. A little piece of light. It kind of stinks that Lily couldn't Lily couldn't be there for that. But, you know. Lily kind of took a back seat this time. It is a pretty really pretty scene though. So I have to admit that. Then Necrozma melted and died. Pretty much, right? Necrozma lost its light. It disappeared into another world. Little do we realize that it disappears into Alola again. It will likely take some time, but eventually we may also be awash in the light again, like you all. My thanks to the people of Alola. My thanks to the light of the Z crystals. Necrozma took on, took down, let's start over again, rewind. Necrozma took on that brilliant form once again and became Ultra Necrozma, thanks to you all. And then you went and destroyed it. But now, Necrozma has lost its light once more and appears to have fled to Alola. So, alright, here's the question. Here's what I need to understand a little bit. Necrozma lost its light. That was bad for it. It caused it to go on a rampage and steal the light from other places. It went back to its home world after stealing the light of Alola, but we come in, and thanks to the Z-Crystal, we enable it to achieve its ultimate form, its true form, where it's supposedly not in pain anymore. Then it battles us. We make it lose its light, but it's okay, because it's fine now. He's just going to go off and mope somewhere until we <laughs> catch it or whatever. It's... Oh, well. And your Sogaleo, weakened as it was, he also returned to your world. 
I am most grateful for all you have done, human from the world of Alola. And it's a Poipole. Now what is Poipole creating a fuss for? Captain Fico, I believe that Poipole is showing an interest in this person from Alola. It seems to want to stay together with her. How fascinating. Does it perhaps seek to become stronger, or is there some other reason for its interest? According to what we have learned through our investigations, I believe that in your world, giving a Pokémon to another can be a way of demonstrating your feelings for them. And besides, Poipol seems to want to go. Take it with you if you have no objection. So, I'm gonna say no for now. Um, I don't really need any new encounters, so I might, um, I might wait and, uh, do it another time, like, after I'm done with the game, so I can get a good nature or whatever, maybe try to soft set for a shiny. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on that. We're just gonna go home for now. Alright, I wanna ride on Solgaleo so that, you know, Lily can see me riding up top Nebby's back, victoriously. Oh, well, I guess she didn't really see it. She just heard the cry. They didn't want to make two different cutscenes, I guess. Impressive, human of Alola. Thank you so much! While you were battling Necrozma in our Ultra Megalopolis, we were able to make some discoveries about the auras here in Alola. The auras of Alola came from Necrozma! They're the remnants of the light it emitted long ago! These auras must have been particularly strong at the trial locations, and the Z power for the Z moves. It is also similar to the auras of the totem Pokemon. Both came to Alola as Necrozma's light. You are such a powerful trainer. Maybe you can return the light to Necrozma without having it run wild. So wait, does having its light make it run wild, or does not having its light make it run wild? Make up your mind, Pokemon. As a sign of thanks, we'll continue to share our Lunala with you. Use the Ultra Warp Ride to explore many new and different worlds. No doubt you will find amazing Pokémon. I think we will stay in Alola for a while. It is practically overflowing with Z-Power. It would be good for us to experience life here. Maybe even do our own island challenge. You're gonna need more than a Poipol to do that, though. Ooh, ooh, I want to become friends with Diglett! Okay, then. Sweet! Lily. It seems that you were right. Right to feel hurt by the suffering of Pokémon. Right to take Cosmog away. No, I just... The one who really did everything was sweet, not me. Here, you should take these Beast Balls. Put out your hand. Three Beast Balls. Those are special Pokéballs that we developed with the Ultra Recon Squad's help to capture Ultra Beast. I know I can trust leaving them in the hands of a trainer like you. Diglett dig, diglett dig, trio, trio, trio. With its light stolen from it, Cosmog is... No, Sogaleo is weak. Will you take it back to the parrot? We will take it back to paradise to care for it. Lily, you will help also. Uh, Lily, what happened to not ha letting your mom tell you what to do all the time, but I guess it's what you really wanted to do anyway, so... It's what I was gonna do anyway! Oh, uh, the gargle's voice. I, I won't even bother. Maybe you'll bring out the best in others, huh? It helps to find out the best in yourself, too, huh? Blah, blah, blah. Guzma's having... Gargle's is having a character development moment. But I'm not even gonna try the voice with AJ here. Um, sweet? I know I couldn't do anything to really help, but I was always on your side. You and your Pokémon side. I got the chance to finally talk with my mother. About a lot of things, really. And I think I understand a little better now. Sweet, you saved Necrozma and the people of that world. And all of us, too. Um, AJ, I actually did try to do it a little bit in an earlier, like, before you came on. So you can go and check the replay for that. It, I, I wasn't feeling it. I tried, though. You gave us all the chance to smile again. Ah. I'm going to go back to paradise for a bit to help Nebby recover, but... Sweet, do your best on your island challenge! Ooh, piano rendition of Lily's theme. 
Oh, hey, it's Mina. Hey, Mina. Sweet. Alola. Alola. I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark. But I guess you took care of all that, huh? But I'm not going to let you take all the good parts. I'm a captain too, you know. So why don't you see if you can beat my trial? If you're ready to try, just come by my house. It's in Seafolk Village. Or, yeah, I guess you could just come with me. Let me know if you want to go together. Actually, I won't, just because I want to deposit Rock and Rolla. Rock and Rolla. Rock and Rolla. All right. Um, no. So what I... So this is where we do the trial where we have to, like, find and do rematches with a bunch of the... the trial captains which is annoying I'm pretty sure we do we either do rematches or, or we just find them I think we battle at least a couple of them <laughs> the minute me captain lima bean we're hoping to call if you're in it okay well I will I will I will give you that opportunity if you want to call in I, and this is the point where, the part where, for the sake of being, you know, not taking too long with this part, I might just have to look up, uh, where everybody is. So hold on, let me, let me, uh, clean this up over here. Okay. We're set. I don't know who I want to lead with. I'm not sure. But I think I might need to use. Well, I'll go and I'll go and talk to uh, Mina first. But who do I want to lead with? I mean, I know for the battle with the totem Rabambi, I'm gonna need the blade, no question. Um, actually, well, for now, I'll put Gyarados in front. Other than electric types, it's a pretty safe bet. Okay. Yeah, Phantom. Lima Bean is, is AJ's name for uh, Ilima, or Ilima, depending on, depending on how you say it. I always said Ilima. A lot of people say Ilima, so maybe they're right. I have not heard, uh, I've not watched the anime to know what the official version is. Oh, hi, Rotom. I'm just trying to Roto Lotto here real quick. And we got Roto PP Restore. Okay. Let's go and talk to her. You know, you know, we were, we were joking it yesterday about her voice making her sound like a stoner. But you know, her parents did say something. Like, it, I remember in Sun and Moon, they, they said something about her liking to eat a lot. So anyway... Let's move on. So, I take it you're ready to take my trial, right? You did come to my house, like I said, after all. That's why I'm here! I don't know why I would say that's not why I'm here, I don't know why else I'd be here. Hehehehe. <laughs> I need to laugh better. <laughs> I don't know. Then let the trial of Mina begin. Trial start. The only difference is we can actually, like, move around in the overworld. Or, yeah. I guess I've got to tell you what you need to do. You have to battle me. Oh, we have to battle her. Rah, I should have led with... I should have led... Because isn't she... A fa she's a fairy type user as well, right? Oh, well, she got three Pokemon. I forgot that we actually battle her first. All right, she got a Mawile. Um, this thing either has Intimidate or Hyper Cutter. Okay, it doesn't have Hyper Cutter, so at least we can intimidate it, and I can just Dragon Dance. So now we're up to we're at level 51 now. So again, we're a little bit over leveled, but really not super ridiculously over leveled. So it's cool. So let's Dragon Dance and get that back up. All right, Play Rough is not so scary thanks to the Intimidate. We're gonna Dragon Dance one more time. Yeah, I know, Mina didn't really have a trial, although it was kind of funny in one way, because it's like, oh, she's a slacker, so she doesn't even have a trial for you. But yeah, 
I'm, I'm glad that they, like, did something with her in Ultra Sun and Moon. They did fix a few things that it seems like they didn't have a chance to finish in the first Sun and Moon. I don't know. All right, let's go for an Aqua Tail now. And it missed. But Mawile hasn't missed a single play rough, by the way. In case you were wondering. Ah, there we go. I wonder if we even needed that second Dragon Dance. Maybe at just neutral attack we would have done enough. Oh well. Never hurts to be safe. Alright, Gramble. I mean, you might have Fire Fang, but I still think the best Pokemon I could bring out here is this Dublade. I was thinking about using Marowak, but I don't want to take a chance. Marowak would have been okay against, like, Mawile. Unless he went for, um... Sucker Punch, I guess. Ah, uh, more Intimidate. I forgot about that. Uh... Oh yeah, the photo of the Rabombi. But see, she doesn't... The, like... Oh, it is Earthquake! That's worse than Fire Fang. We take it like a beast, though, because we're Dublade with the Eviolite. But yeah, like, the Rabombi's the totem Pokemon, so I, I'm pretty sure that's not one of the ones she uses. Alright, we can live another one of those. So, we're gonna go for an Iron Head. Everyone trying to destroy Dublade, but they can't do it! Aw, oh, look at him die, the poor puppy. He's so sad. Oh, she does have a Rabombi. Okay. Alright, well, just in case it has something nasty waiting for me, I will heal one more time. I don't think it does. Gramble gets the weirdest moves. Like, outrage. Yeah. So, like, um... Oh, yeah. It's got a Z move. That should not do, like, anything to me. Um, but, yeah. Gramble is weird, and it's really unfortunate... It's one of the few physical fairy types, and there's only one... I think, I think there's still only one physical fairy type move in the whole game, which is Play Rough. Which is kind of sad. Like, Mimikyu's another one, but at least it gets good ghost type moves. Like, and I'm, I don't know. Poor Gramble. Gramble has so much, like... Could be so much better than it is. Alright, once again, relying on Dublade the Beast. And Dublade reaches level 60. Just a wee, wee bit overleveled, but the totem's gonna be level 55, so it's not, it's not too bad. Phew, looks like you had some kind of violent challenge. Since you managed to beat me, though, I'll give you this pink petal as proof. We obtained the pink petal! Yay! That's a good start, but you've only just begun my real trial. Now you have to go around to all the captains in Alola and get a petal from each one of them. Thanks, Mina. And then we have to figure out where they all are, right? Ooh, there's a sticker. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, there. She's like a bottomless pit. When she starts focusing on painting, she eats a lot. Interesting. That keeps her, I guess, really, um, keeps her busy, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, Phantom King. It was this Snubble here that first set her girl down the path to becoming a serious artist. When she showed Snubble a picture she'd drawn of it, the little fellow chewed that drawing to shreds in its delight, but Mina misunderstood and thought that Snubble had torn it up because it was bad. And so she came up, she went on a quest ever since. Snubble will not... Eat my drawings again. Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, so we need to find where all of the captains are. Because not all of them are where you expect, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> and, like, depending on the version, different ones battle you, something like that. To make this easier, I'm thinking of just, like, looking up the rematches here. Let's see. Does it say rematches? Island Trials, Grand Trials. Well, it shouldn't be under Island Trials because... 
I already looked that up. So hold on one second while I get this figured out. Elite four new areas, battle agency, battle tree. Wouldn't be a side quest either. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they don't really have a section for it. There's a rematch. Um, there's a totem rematch over here, but that's not, that's not what I'm looking at. Where is it? It wouldn't be side quests. Because it's required. Yeah, these are other things. Oh my gosh, I just... I didn't look at the details, but I just spoiled myself with a side quest that I can do. I'll need to, I'll need to look at that later, how to do that. I don't want to spoil it in case none of you guys, like, in case you guys haven't looked at that. I think it's a post-game thing. Alright, where is... Where are the trial captains? Like, where's the section for the trial captains? It doesn't explain it here, does it? Go to when you feed. Oh, no, it does, it does say right here. Rip. Okay, so lima bean can be found in Holy Cemetery. Um. But we're gonna go to Lush Jungle first. I'm gonna give AJ a chance to see if he wants to call in. So let's go to Lush Jungle in the meantime. Ah. All right, so we're gonna go, um, no, wait, is it Lana? Lana in Ultra Moon. Oh, no, wait. No, in Ultra Sun, you battle Mallow in Lush Jungle. Okay, so for battling Mallow, I think I want to have Marowak up front. Okay, Rotom is sad again. Do I ever wish I'd become an adult sooner? Uh, not really. I call- I consider myself a kid adult. A kid in an adult's body. Just barely in an adult's body, because I'm only like 5'2", so... <laughs> Just barely by minimum definition of what qualifies as an adult height. Near- near minimum definition, not quite minimum definition. I'm in the 25th percentile for height, though. In people for females in my age range. Okay, so I need to find... Let's put a rappel up just to get... make this a little bit easier. So AJ, after I battle Lana, I'll try to start a call and we can see what happens. Alright, I just need to remember where exactly to go. They're supposed to be in here. Unless I have to do something else first. I don't know. We'll do some splorin. Okay, nothing in here. Yes, more repel, please. Let's go off this way. Anybody? Well, let's go ahead and, um, get what is over here it's like energy ball or something might as well might as well do we need to do something to get because i remember this description not being enough like i feel like i need to do something else in order to get uh in order to get them to show up i don't even know we're gonna check this out first though and there's a Hyper Potion, which I will take. Sorry for the half yawn there. Yes, more repel. And a rare candy. 
Nice. All right, let's do this last push here. 20 knuckles carrying me to victory. Quite literally, AJ. All right. Let's get this energy ball right here. Just so I have it. I mean, Chloe already has it. But, you know. Just in case. Okay. Where are we going? There are the Sudowoodo. I don't know. Also, Phantom King, are those emotes like from Pokken? They look like the they look like the Pokken sprites or whatever you want to call them. All right, I don't see. Oh, okay, there's another there's another hallway to go through. Is it here? Maybe. Also, there, I th I'm pretty sure there's, like, a hidden path we can go through to get- Oh, uh, we, already, we already got whatever item was there. I don't know. I was gonna say, they look like the, the Pokémon artwork. And we're gonna run into this Pokémon. Alright, I don't know where she is. Do we have to do these in er order, by chance? I don't think we have to do it in order, right? Alright, let's get out of here. It says, in Ultra Sun, you battle Mallow in Lush, Lush Jungle and also get Lana's Petal. So, yeah, we'll see if Nightbot yells it. I don't know if Nightbot is is um, is turned on right now because I haven't I didn't sign into him today. Nice. Also, this is not the exit. Okay, so to keep me from having to interrupt the stream, I need somebody to do me a favor and see if they can look up um, a more detailed explanation of where to find these guys. So in the meantime, though, I'm going to try and go to Holy Cemetery. <laughs> 